How to fix Fortnite crashes on PC This video will show you how to fix crashes and freezing issues in Fortnite's new season when playing on any PC or a laptop. The settings shown are safe for all computers, so everyone should be able to follow along. Watch the whole video to learn how to resolve these Fortnite problems. Without wasting any more time, let's get started. In short, the video covers crash and freezing fixes in the new Fortnite season that are safe for all PCs and laptops. To fix your Fortnite issues, make sure to watch the full video to see the solutions provided. To repair easy anti-cheat in BattleEye for Fortnite crashing issues, first open File Explorer and navigate to the Fortnite Game Files location. Local Disk C, Program Files, Epic Games, Fortnite, Fortnite Game, Binaries, Win64, Easy Anti-Cheat. In the Easy Anti-Cheat folder, open the Easy Anti-Cheat underscore setup application as administrator. Click the repair button to uninstall and reinstall Easy Anti-Cheat. After it completes, go back to the Win64 folder and into the BattleEye folder. Uninstall BattleEye by running the Uninstall BattleEye application as administrator. Then, reinstall BattleEye by similarly running Install BattleEye as administrator. In summary, to fix Fortnite crashing, navigate to Easy Anti-Cheat folder, repair Easy Anti-Cheat, uninstall then reinstall BattleEye. This will refresh the anti-cheat programs to hopefully resolve crashes. The next step to fix crashing and freezing in Fortnite is to edit the game user settings file to allow multi-core CPU rendering. First, open the run dialog by pressing Windows plus R and enter percentage sign local app data percentage sign to open your local app data folder. In app data, navigate to the Fortnite game folder, then go into saved config Windows client. Here, you'll find the game user settings.ini configuration file. Right click this file, go to properties, and uncheck read only to make changes. With read only disabled, right click the file again and choose edit to open it. Use Ctrl F to search for B allow multi threaded rendering. This is the option we need to change. The default setting is false which limits Fortnite to a single CPU core and can cause crashing, so switch this to true to allow utilizing multiple cores. This will enhance performance and stability. With multi-threaded rendering now enabled, go to File, Save to update the game user settings.ini file. Along with improving CPU usage, we also want to clear any crash logs that may have built up over time and can lead to freezing issues. Still in percentage sign local app data percentage sign, Fortnite game, saved, logs, delete any files related to crashes, errors, or bugs. Clearing out these logs forces cached crash reports to rebuild fresh which can prevent freezes on launch or during matches. Combined with a CPU multi-threading tweak, this provides optimal stability and smoother gameplay with no locking up or crashes. Just enable multi-core rendering and clear logs. Following these steps is essential to address issues with Fortnite crashes. Begin by navigating back to the Fortnite save directory. Once there, locate the Crashes folder which is responsible for storing crash-related information. Open the Crashes folder and proceed to delete it entirely. This action effectively erases any cached data or details related to previous Fortnite crashes. The next crucial step involves dealing with the Logs section. Within this section, identify a folder designated for backup files. Select all the files within this folder and initiate the deletion process. Ensure that all files are successfully removed. By doing so, you eliminate unnecessary log files that might contribute to the game crashes. It's important to emphasize the significance of this process in optimizing Fortnite performance. Deleting the crashes folder and clearing out unnecessary log files not only resolves current crash issues but also helps prevent future disruptions. These actions essentially create a clean slate, allowing the game to operate more efficiently without being hindered by remnants of past crashes. After completing these deletion tasks, close out of the Fortnite save directory to finalize the changes. By following these steps meticulously, users can experience a more stable and reliable Fortnite gaming experience. Regularly performing these maintenance tasks can contribute to the overall health of the game installation, reducing the likelihood of crashes and ensuring a smoother gameplay experience for users. The next optimization is to clean up Windows temporary files and prefetch data. Open the run dialog with Windows plus R and enter percentage sign temp percentage sign to open your temp folder. Select all the files shown here and delete them. These are unused junk files that build up over time. After clearing percentage sign temp percentage sign, go back to run and type prefetch and hit enter. 
Again, click Continue to confirm and select all the prefetch files shown. These files cache program data to help speed up launches but can get overloaded leading to crashes. Delete them so fresh prefetch info can be rebuilt. Clearing out the temporary files in prefetch data helps optimize Windows system performance in the background. With unnecessary temporary data removed and prefetch recreated properly later, resource usage is streamlined for gaming and Fortnite specifically. This prevents slowdowns, hangs, freezes that can come from too much useless data cluttering up memory and storage. So be sure to wipe both temp files and prefetch to keep Windows running smoothly. Okay guys, the next step is to make sure your Windows and drivers are up to date to prevent crashes from outdated components. Open Windows Settings and go to Windows Update. Click the Check for Updates button to download the latest fixes, patches, and upgrades that Microsoft has released. Install all available Windows updates, including cumulative updates, security patches, and driver updates. An outdated Windows version or incompatible drivers can sometimes cause Fortnite to freeze or crash. By regularly updating Windows and hardware drivers via Windows Update, you ensure maximum stability, performance, and compatibility for gaming and all other software. So check for and install all pending updates via settings. This keeps Windows secure and running smoothly, while updating drivers prevents conflicts or bugs from older incompatible drivers that could lead to crashes in games. Stay updated for optimal system health. After that, open the settings on your Windows PC and check if you have the Visual C++ redistribution pack installed or not. If it's not available, I suggest you open the link in the video description which will take you to an article explaining how to fix crashes and freezing in Fortnite. Download the Fortnite All Crashes Fix WinRAR file which contains the DirectX 11 and Visual C++ folders. Extract the folders and open the DirectX 11 folder. Scroll down and run the DirectX 11 setup executable file to install it, if you don't already have it installed. Next, go to Visual C++ folder, which contains redistribution packs for various Visual C++ versions. Run the install all batch file to install all the redistribution packs one by one. After it finishes installing them, you can close the folders. Next, we need to configure some settings in the Epic Games Launcher for improved Fortnite optimization. Open your Epic Games library and right-click on the Fortnite. Go to Options in the menu. Uncheck High Resolution Textures. This reduces unnecessary texture load to increase FPS performance in-game. Also, disable DirectX 12 as it currently has issues that lead to crashing. Continue tweaking settings by turning off disabled cosmetic streaming as well, which stabilizes rendering. Pick your preferred language and hit Apply to save these optimized settings. Then, right-click Fortnite again and choose Verify. This will scan your Fortnite install for any missing or corrupted files related to crashes and automatically reacquire them from Epic servers repairing the game. Between the performance options disabled and verifying Fortnite's files, this will boost stability as well as reduce freezing and crashing by catching any issues with textures, cosmetics not loading properly, and index gaps. Configuring the launcher properly supplements the previous windows and hardware tweaks for preventing Fortnite errors. Now that you have followed all the steps to fix Fortnite crashes and optimize performance, the final thing needed is to restart your PC. This allows all the settings changes and tweaks to take full effect throughout your system. Once your computer finishes rebooting, open up Epic Games and launch Fortnite. With luck, the game should no longer suffer from any crashing, freezing, or errors thanks to our fixes. If the optimizations were successful and you can now play Fortnite smoothly without issues, please give the video a like and subscribe. Feel free to let your friends know about these crash fixes too. Thanks for watching and until next time.